Welcome back to our channel. Ramadan is a special month for Muslims all around the world, where we fast from sunrise to sunset. During iftar, it's important to be mindful of the types of foods we eat, as some foods can cause discomfort and indigestion. In this video, we'll be sharing 10 foods that you should avoid eating during iftar. 1. Fried foods like samosas, pakoras, and spring rolls are popular snacks during Ramadan, but they are high in fat and can be heavy on the stomach. Instead, try baked or grilled versions of your favorite snacks. 2. Spicy foods. It can irritate the stomach and cause heartburn, especially if eaten in large quantities. Avoid overly spicy dishes like curries and chilies, and opt for milder versions of your favorite dishes. 3. Sugary foods. While sweets are a popular treat during Ramadan, it's important to avoid consuming too much sugar, as it can cause a sudden spike in blood sugar levels. So, try to limit your intake of sweet desserts like cakes, pastries, and sugary drinks. 4. Processed foods. These are often high in salt, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Try to avoid processed snacks like chips, crackers, and instant noodles, and opt for whole, natural foods instead. 5. Fatty meats. Like beef, lamb, and pork can be difficult to digest and can cause discomfort during the night. Try to opt for leaner proteins like chicken, fish, and tofu. 6. Carbonated drinks. Like soda and sparkling water can cause bloating and discomfort. Rather try to stick to water, unsweetened tea, or fruit juices. 7. Caffeine. It can interfere with sleep and cause dehydration, so it's best to avoid caffeinated beverages like coffee, tea, and energy drinks in iftar. 8. Heavy dairy products. Cream, cheese, and butter can be difficult to digest and can cause discomfort during the night. Try to opt for lighter dairy products like yogurt and milk. 9. Salty foods. Foods high in salt can cause dehydration and make you thirsty during the night. It's better to avoid salty snacks like salted nuts and chips. 10. Large meals. Eating large meals during iftar can be overwhelming for your digestive system. Instead, try to eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the night. That's it for today's video on 10 foods you should avoid eating during iftar. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time, take care and Ramadan Mubarak.